Hi, I'm Gary Stearman of Prophecy Watchers with a very special guest today. He's Steve Quayle of Gen 6 Productions. And Steve, welcome to Prophecy Watchers. Well, thank you so much, Gary. And, you know, we've been uh, absolutely in awe of the events that are happening in the skies overhead. The supernatural, almost as if, and I believe it is, the gates of hell are opening. But what we're going to speak about specifically is for the last three years, uh, the expeditions that Gen 6 has been producing in Mexico, in the Tula region, T-U-L-A, and in some of the most astonishing finds. And we've established provenance with all of the different inscriptions and all the different portrayals of aliens, of a spaceship, spacecraft, and what we would all call, and you and I have talked about them, out-of-place artifacts, literally stuff that doesn't fit the narrative. Go ahead, sir. Well, I'd like to say that I've watched your, your latest production, the Mexico uh, Expedition, and let me tell you, Steve, something happened to me that does not often happen. And that is, I became really emotionally involved with this thing. I, I began to say to myself, if this is true, and it appears to be true, this is uh, mind-altering. <laughs> this makes you look at the world in an entirely different way. And in particular, when I look at Genesis 6, and of course you are Gen 6 Productions, when I look at Genesis 6, uh, I know what it says, but... You add so much to the reality of that. It's amazing. It's astonishing. You know, the, the uh, uh, I guess you'd say the acceptance of this has been, wow. That's what most people say, because very seldom, Gary, do people get to participate in an expedition of this multi-year uh, undertaking and literally the expense we've gone to. By the way, this is in the heart of narco-terrorist country. And what's important for people to understand is that this is no easy task, but we believe, and you've watched the whole presentation, and we talk about the spiritual nature and the literal leading of the living God to provide us with some astonishing findings. And we've used all the state-of-the-art uh, ground-penetrating radar, infrared, LIDAR, georadar, all of the different words that people use, and we located this. We didn't go in looking at a site that someone had dug or someone maybe had planted. So it was really critical that we follow the expedition. So I, I want people to understand this. I believe it's the first time that we've been able to bring people on an expedition, shovel by shovel, and involve them. as, And they're seeing, and as you saw, for the very first time, stuff that's been in the ground, in some cases, and dated even back in the 50s as being 6,500 years old. Some of them engraved, engraved with some unknown technology that literally show the planet Saturn, that literally show uh, alien species. I think we've uh, cataloged at least 200 different alien species. So that's what's so interesting about this find. And even on the front cover, most people are familiar with the Indiana Jones uh, movies and Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skulls. Well, everybody knows about the Paracas Skulls, thanks to all the work that uh, the guys that have been cataloging that, whether it's Brian Forrester or uh, L.A. Marzulli, but very few have ever produced the horizontal skulls, and I'll just hold this up, like this Aztec priest is holding. And yes. the interesting thing about that, that was the whole basis that skull design. So we're dealing with even horned skulls. These are real skulls. They're really found out they really have provenance. Go ahead, sir. Well, Steve, we've all been seeing the uh, elongated skulls. But to see something carved in a beautiful piece of stone it comes out of the ground. And by the way, on, on this production, you see the actual digging process, which is, you know, is uh, as suspenseful a thing as I've ever watched. And when this thing comes out of the ground and, and you wash it off and suddenly you see carvings in an ancient piece of stone that do not look antique. They look almost modern. Uh, and when I say modern, I mean technological in nature. And you look at that and you say, wow, uh, we've got to put this all together. And of course, you've been working on that for a while. 
We've absolutely, uh, I think, presented the best case that can be presented with provenance, another word for authenticity. Uh, some of the finds are astonishing. For instance, uh, in the as I think we've talked about on your program before, but the glyph project that we undertook, and I had to put it on hold because it got way expensive, like in the millions of dollars, and I quite candidly I couldn't handle both of them. But in this, meaning this, the expedition and the glyph project, comparing 500,000 different symbols worldwide to known uh, interpretations of whether it's Sumerian text, whether it's Egyptian text, that's for another interview sometime. But what's astonishing on some of these uh, artifacts, Gary, is DNA. And when I say DNA, the double helix, of course it doesn't say DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid or messenger RNA. But what was astonishing is there were actual images of the aliens having uh, relations with the Aztec women and vice versa, the men with the alien women and producing hybrid creatures that were absolutely uh, disgusting to say the least, but not created by the living God because everything that God made was beautiful and after its kind. So the hybridization is uh, so well portrayed on this. And then uh, actually cosmic Orbital paths were uh, detailed, especially Mars and Jupiter and the asteroid belt. But the point is, is that our director of antiquities, Jesse G., you've seen it, Gary. He's down in the ground. They're digging it out. By the way, one of those images is, I think, eight or nine feet, and everything was dug by hand. We had a crew of 20 people, and, and they would take shifts because, again, it's super hot there. But all along... Each artifact that was uh, turned up, dug up, unearthed is a better word, is showing things that boggle your mind. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this was first noted, this whole area, nineteen, I think it was 1944, by a, a German uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, merchant, and his name was Waldemir, or Waldemir, Gelsrud. And what's fascinating is in the 50s, and you'll enjoy this, Gary, is that the Smithsonian, my nemesis, okay, and I believe that the nemesis of truth, that's my opinion, sent a team, a couple men down there, who claimed in four hours they literally were able to view 32,000 artifacts and, and and determined that they weren't real. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? If they weren't real, why did they all go to the Smithsonian? It's exactly the same story. Some of the 50s artifacts were dated 6,500 years ago. So to give people an understanding, the, the antiquity of these, and there were pre-flood, there were post-flood, and there was even pre-Adamic, and you and I have covered that. That's how astonishing the artifacts are. And I think it's uh, problematic that people don't want to admit that this stuff is real. Because, again, I believe and, and you believe the great deception is coming. And that would be that the aliens created us, which is the biggest lie in the world. Well, thinking of myself as uh, an objective observer, I try to be objective. And watching uh, these artifacts come out of the ground... Uh, actually uh, had an emotional effect on me, and I had to back up a couple of steps and say, okay, what does this really mean, and what's, what's this really talking about? And then going back to the Bible, suddenly it all clicks together, and it's an amazing insight. Uh, Steve, uh, I'm going to pause for a moment to uh, let everybody know how they can uh, get, get a uh, subscription to our magazine, The Prophecy Watcher. And by the way, you're welcome to contribute to our magazine anytime you'd like to. And uh, we'll be right back. In case you haven't noticed, the whole world is spinning out of control. But we are not surprised because many of the things taking place were prophesied in the Bible thousands of years ago. That's why we want to offer you a very special subscription to our magazine, The Prophecy Watcher, that will keep you on the cutting edge of Bible prophecy. Stay informed on prophetic world events. Follow the nuclear threats from Russia and Iran, China's march to world domination, the likelihood of another global pandemic, the rise of artificial intelligence and transhumanism, war in the Middle East, the UFO phenomenon, and the latest technology preparing the world for the mark of the beast. 
With your gift of $50 or more to support the worldwide outreach of Prophecy Watchers, you will receive 12 issues of the magazine in either print or digital format. You will also receive 10 bonus DVDs that feature in-depth teaching on the Ancient Book of Enoch, Heaven and the New Jerusalem, the biblical case for the rapture, a look at how God put the gospel in the stars, what really happened at the Tower of Babel, and Ezekiel's prophecy on the Battle of Gog and Magog. This special offer is available anywhere in the United States with free shipping included. Don't wait. Pick up the phone right now and call the toll-free number on your screen or visit us at prophecywatchers.tv. Stand with us today and help us take the message of Christ's soon return to the whole world. Well, we're back with Steve Quayle and uh, his late latest production has to do with alien artifacts unearthed. And in this production, you actually get to see the unearthing process. It is a, well, as they used to say in the movie business, it's a popcorn cruncher, right, Steve? Yes. <laughs> it, it, it's very suspenseful. And again, I want people to understand, these are artifacts that have been buried. This, it, this is way beyond the Aztec period. This is way beyond the Toltec period. These are the different uh, uh, civilizations there. It goes back to the Olmecs, but then it goes beyond that. The Olmecs are those giant heads that you see in Latin America. We're, we're absolutely validating, and I say absolutely, we're validating the entire uh, uh, UAP, uh, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, and I call that uh, it should be called uh, something else, as, and I have a name, but I won't say it. The uh, How should I say this? The lack of integrity in the intellectual community, anything that's out of place that doesn't fall, follow Darwinian evolution, and if we've noticed, and I think everybody knows this, people all over the world are having supernatural experiences. They're having encounters with stargates and portals orbs that start out as a triangular formation in the sky, they change into a linear, uh, if you will, a linear line, and then they go and merge into one, and then they disappear, like the spirals all over the world, indicating, in essence, stargates all over the world in antiquity. And you know, it's important, Gary, that people understand, question everything, and I have answers, but it's, I think this is the Rosetta Stone of the entire alien argument, and I believe that the amount of evidence is absolutely, how should I say this, diametrically opposed to the controlled narrative and also the lies that are coming out of what I would call the showcase or show cause hearings that are going on in Congress. I believe it's totally a contrived uh, presentation for the public to continue to be deceived. We read in the Bible uh, about uh, <clears throat> fallen angels, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness. We read about the sons of God who descended uh, from heavenly places and, and took the daughters of men uh, as wives. And the consequences of that, the incredible upset that came out of it. And we read about this in the Bible. We believe it, but seeing it, uh, it does something to your thinking about the Bible. And I've, I've studied the Bible, as you have, for years and years. But it's another thing to say, I'm going to go back and reread what I have been reading. Because if this is true, and we're actually uh, able to dig up artifacts that will validate what the Bible says, uh, this, is, uh, this is a step forward, uh, I think, in the household of faith. We understand Genesis 6, 4 in this context, but when God blows our minds in his context and illustrating the word of God and explaining, by the way, the pyramids were not built by the Aztecs, they weren't built by the Mayans, they weren't built by the Incas, and they were built prior both to Noah's flood and the recreation in Genesis 1, 1, 1, 2. So, 
Again, the UAP, the, the, I would say this, the morsels of truth, they hate the truth. And why? People ask me that all the time. Because of Genesis 6's relevance, because of the Book of Enoch's relevance, because of the Book of Giant, Dead Sea Scrolls, and even Jesus and the disciples mentioned passages from the Book of Enoch. So this is the most astonishing finding. That's not, would you agree with that? That's not hyperbole. That's not melodrama. It's absolutely, it does something to your paradigm or the perspective you had on history. And by the grace of God, and you heard our testimonies, both Jesse G's, my testimony, and Daniel Holdings, the script writer, I mean, this we acknowledge this is not of man's doing, but it is of God's time to reveal this in a, in a greater way. Well, as you know, uh, right now there's a lot of stirring in the UFO, UAP world, uh, in, in that segment of, uh, of society that is, is trying to sell the idea that uh, astronauts visit us, visited us in the ages past and they're now back. Uh, they are getting ready to make contact with us once again. And that's the whole propaganda, propaganda genre that's, that's headed out right now. And you, I think, bring that to a screeching halt uh, because you take us in a different direction. And you take us in that direction of letting us know who these visitors, quote unquote, really are. Well, and, and not only who the visitors are, but the effect of their influence. By the way, it's always evil. There's no happy-go-lucky cannibal aliens. And by the way, it was a cannibal aliens. And if you look at the history of human sacrifice in Mesoamerica, it becomes so uh, apparent. And now we're absolutely seeing, in my opinion, the days of Noah, where the whole earth was corrupt before the flood of Noah. And when, when we can basically show people some of these panels, Gary, that are in the film and in the other film that you guys sell, the, the primary film, uh, The Lies of Men and Gods. I mean, some of these things are four feet by six feet and weigh literally half a ton. So what's inscribed, and, and it's interesting because if you inscribe something in stone with advanced technology and you see the technology that can produce some of those uh pun intended again, but out of this world illustrations. And that's what I think is so amazing about this is even my cameraman who, who got down in the hole, he said, you know, when, and he, I have this testimony. He said, when I was down there in the hole, eight, eight and a half feet, and he's six feet too, you know, the bottom line is he said, I used to think all this was crazy. He said, now I don't. So What's what is the goal of this is to give the people of God a heads up and an understanding that will be imperative and critical. God's word teaches that God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And instead of allowing the world to go crazy over a false narrative, which they're going to do, uh, Jesus is allowing us to present what I believe is the historic truth, the archaeological truth, and boy, anthropological truth, and it explains everything, advanced technology, genetic engineering, even uh, different cosmic events uh, that are uh, astonishing, and also stargates also portals and also orbs and very strange creatures. You know, I think from the time we're children, uh, we talk about uh, spooky things, you know, and, and, and we go to our parents as children and say, are those things real? Are there really ghosts? Are there really evil spirits? Are there really, you know, people worship the dark spirits? And at some time or another in your childhood, you went to your parents and you said, are all these things really real? Uh, are we really fighting a, a dark enemy, or is that just something that was dreamed up by the people that wrote ancient histories and so forth? And you come to a point in your life, particularly as a Christian, when you, you, re you really want to have a handle on what you're up against. And I think your production really uh, helps us to see the reality of what we are up against, and, and I, it had that effect on me, I've got to say. I would say this, it's like, these are their words, not mine, but I would echo them, you're echoing it. These are life-altering mental changes 
that people are going. It's like the, the light switch moment, okay? The light switch goes off. And what's interesting is everything in Ephesians 6 talking about what we war against, what we fight against. None of that is earthly, okay? Yes. It's supernatural. And I think I want people to understand this is critical. Most people just dismiss the Word of God when Jesus said he's going to build his church on faith, not Peter, but on faith, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Gates open up something or they keep something back. And now just the word stargate, portals, and orbs, which are shown and portrayed in history, and you guys carry the complete true legends story and the true legend videos of all of our different productions, there is no getting away from stargates, portals, and the U.S. military even funded the most sophisticated study of ancient American sacred sites, and their primary concern was stargates, portals, and orbs. Wow. <clears throat> We're talking to Steve Quayle of Gen 6 Productions, and uh, this uh, production, The Mexico Expeditions, you are got to see, and here's how you can see it. For the last 40 years, Steve Quayle has been at the forefront of controversial subjects that make people uncomfortable. Steve, along with Gary Stearman, were two of the first Bible scholars writing about the strange events that took place in Genesis 6-4, which describe a group of rebellious angels who left their heavenly home, married the women of earth, and produced a hybrid creation the Hebrew scriptures call the Nephilim. It may sound strange, but it was part of Lucifer's attempt to corrupt the bloodline of mankind. Men and women made the image of God, and at the same time, corrupt the bloodline of Jesus. This led to the flood of Noah, where God destroyed his entire creation, save Noah and his family. Even more complicated is the history of our planet. While mankind has been here for 6,000 years, the Bible seems to indicate in a few obscure places that there was an angelic civilization here before Adam and Eve, managed by Lucifer. There is a dark, revenge-driven side to Lucifer, the prince of the power of the air. We believe the current rise in UFO activity, corroborated by military pilots and whistleblowers, along with dramatically increased UFO activity, leads us to believe this supernatural activity is about to escalate and deceive the world. There are so many unanswered questions. Gigantic pyramids under the ocean near the Bermuda Triangle, images of ancient flying machines, massive unexplainable megalithic structures, an extinct planet called Rahab, hidden Nephilim archaeology in the Grand Canyon, a cover-up at the Smithsonian, fascinating subjects. Steve believes that mankind has had multiple encounters throughout history with extraterrestrials. His latest archaeological dig in Mexico has produced shocking artifacts that confirm these human and alien encounters in the ancient past. 
These finds include images of the human DNA helix indicative of the manipulation of the human genome. Using ground-penetrating radar, you'll be taken to the live dig as these strange treasures are pulled out of the ground on camera. Leave it to Steve to expose these artifacts to the world. The Mexico Expeditions has been recorded on six hours of eye-opening video. All four DVDs can be yours for your gift of $100 or more to support the television outreach of Prophecy Watchers. As an added bonus, we've included four bonus DVDs from Gary and Mondo, along with L.A. Marzulli and Doug Woodward. The Supernatural Book DVD covers the Nephilim and the UFO phenomenon, while Gary and Doug will open your eyes to the history of Mars in The Mysteries of the Red Planet. And, as always, we'll ship Steve's entire Mexico expedition set along with the four bonus DVDs to you for free anywhere in the USA. Call the toll-free number you see on your screen or visit our online bookstore at pwdaystar.com. For our international friends, please note that additional shipping fees will apply and all transactions are in U.S. dollars. Thanks for tuning in today and supporting the work we do here at Prophecy Watchers. We're watching. We hope you're watching too. Well, we're back with Steve Quayle. In the few minutes that we have left, I've tried to express to you uh, the effect that, that, that this production had on my thinking. And you know, you know, you and I have had conversations over the years, and you know that I am a believer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to, the, to the depths of my heart, I am a believer. But then the old expression, seeing is believing, uh, really has, uh, uh, it really carries a lot of weight. And seeing something that was actually produced by evil uh, personages, and then uh, who those personages might be, well, that's, the, the, you know, the rest of the story. We can go a long, long way with that. But seeing their productions uh, unearthed and dusted off and suddenly, wow, this has a reality that I've never uh, experienced before, really goes a long way uh, toward giving me a new perspective of uh, my Bible. You've made the statement, this has had a spiritual effect on you. I think that's like, again, a power statement because we're not dealing with a sterile, how do I say this, just dull or even maybe not so dull archaeological experience. This is a spiritual evil. And, and my emails fill up with people that are having supernatural counters and they want a biblical response, a biblical understanding, and they want to know what's happening to them. And the, and the average statement is, they say, are you, am I losing my mind? I said, absolutely not. But your eyes are being opened to the things that Jesus said are coming upon the earth that'll cause men's hearts to fail. So I guess I'm a heart surgeon for the coming uh, great deception that will be designed to destroy people's faith. And God's word stands first and foremost. There's nothing beyond the word of God, but there's obviously the illustration of the word of God and Genesis 6, 4. Steve Quayle, it's been great talking with you and keep up the good work, will you? Well, thank you. I'm Gary Stearman, and this is Prophecy Watchers. The media ministry of Prophecy Watchers exists only through the faithful prayer and financial support of friends like you. You can make your gift at prophecywatchers.com.